Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel, or if you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Katie. I am a 22 year old content creator. I create everything from a day in the life to fashion, to beauty, to clothing hauls, to lots of Amazon hauls. We have a lot of fun on my channel, so I would love if you guys wanted to subscribe down below and join the fam. So today it is Saturday, and I thought that it would be kind of fun to do like a weekend in my life vlog, um, kind of take you guys along with me on like a chill weekend. So to kick off the vlog, I actually am partnering with Nasty Gal to show you guys a quick little haul. I have everything from like like loungewear, t-shirt dresses, to so many cute things. So I'm so pumped to show you guys. Okay guys, so this is just the first item that I got. It's this oversized um, like crew neck sweater. I love it because it's the perfect color, so soft. And it's kind of like this like washed out navy color, um, but it's so cute, so, so soft. I got this one in a large so that it could be a little bit more like oversized so that I can wear it with biker shorts. Um, and then I just paired it with some white sneakers, but I love this one so much. It's such a perfect color. Um, so like I said, I got this one in a large. And then all of these pieces will be linked down below as well if you guys wanna check any of these out. But this is the first one. Okay, right, so this is the next one. It is this huge oversized t-shirt dress. And then it just says Freddy across the top and has just black and white graphic. So one thing that I will say with this one and then also like the next t-shirt dress that I'm gonna show you guys um, is for some reason I was not thinking about the fact that they were t-shirt dresses. So I got larges thinking just like t-shirt in my head, I guess, so they'd be a little bit longer. Um, so if you guys are interested in this one, just get this one either like true to size or like one size up um because this one is pretty big i just tuck it in on the side but like if i don't tuck it in this is the link which is still super super cute but like i'm only 5'5 five five, so <laughs> i like things to be tucked up just a little bit to kind of make my legs look a little bit longer so anywho but this is this one and then the other thing that i got is also this little fringe crossbody bag i love this one so much because i really like these like kind of tinier bags that you just have like enough to like fit your phone in and stuff um but i really like it because i think all the fringe kind of just adds like a little extra something to your outfit to kind of make it look a little bit more like put together but it's still like no crazy designs and still just like a cute black bag Okay guys, this next one I know you guys recently saw in my Amazon haul video, um, but it is again kind of the similar style to the last one. It is this huge oversized t-shirt dress. Again, I got this one in a large, not realizing that it was the t-shirt dress. You could definitely get this in your size and it would be long enough. Um, but anywho, I just like tucked it up in the front of my biker shorts and then it is long enough to cover your butt, which is really nice. Um, I love the graphic on here. It's just like the perfect like casual outfit adds a little something to your outfit. Shirt is super, super soft as well. Um, and you can totally like roll up the sleeves too if you don't want them to be like a little bit shorter. Okay guys, so this next one is surprise, surprise, another t-shirt dress. Um, but this is their Easy Does It tee. This one just comes in one size. Um, so you can do so many things with this, I feel like. You can either like dress it up, dress it down. You could add like a nice little um, like nude blazer or something on top of it or like a leather jacket with some like black booties or heels just to kind of like dress it up. I think it's super versatile. I know I personally wear this to like the grocery store all the time and just to like do any errands. Okay guys, so this top is the next one. It's this really cute ribbed tank top. It's kind of like a crop, has the high mock neck and then it's sleeveless, which I love. I got this one in a medium, but I kind of wish that I would have sized down just to a small, just because I am really small chested, so I just didn't know how it would fit. Um, but it's super cute. And then these booties are probably my favorite thing out of this entire haul. They're like the perfect mix between like chic Western cowboy boots. Okay guys, this set I am so obsessed with. It's so perfect for like a cute, comfy lounge look. It is cropped, it has the high-waisted elastic shorts. Um, and if you want this to be like a little bit shorter, like if you're kind of short like me, you can always just do like a quick simple bra tuck to have it be like a little bit more cropped I think the set is so perfect whether you like want to wear it out or if you want to just wear it at home as like a loungewear or pajama set I love this set so much I think it's so so cute okay guys so this is the last set I love this one and for some reason it gives me so many like Regina George's mom vibes and like all of the little like track suits and everything like that that she would wear um, but this one is so freaking comfy it's like the perfect kind of like off-white cream color um, super super comfy great material so so stretchy um, it is cropped I personally just tucked it under a little bit because you guys know I'm a little bit shorter um, so if I were to untuck it this is kind of the length that it would be at which is still so cute if you don't want your tummy showing I just like to tuck my stuff up a little bit but I love that these are adjustable and they totally fit your waist so again I think this is such a perfect outfit for whether you are going out or staying in it's just like a cute little something to make you look more put together so definitely love this outfit okay guys so I just ran down to my mailroom to kind of check my packages and I wanted to share this candle that I got 
got with you guys. I'm so excited that it finally came in. Um, but this is by River Birch Candles and they have literally the best candles. They're all clean burning, natural, hand poured. So the one that I got is in the Lily Sin and oh my gosh, you guys, not only is it the cutest aesthetic, it totally fits all of my vibes, but they smell like it smells like you're smelling the actual flower. Like it doesn't smell like a fake, like synthetic candle. Like it just smells so natural and clean and I love that. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and make some lunch. I'm getting pretty hungry. Um, so what I'm gonna make is like a at-home chipotle bowl with like cilantro lime rice and then like the corn salsa that they have and then guacamole. Also, I just organized and cleaned out my fridge. Literally, I need to go grocery shopping. I have like no food. <laughs> I have so many drinks though. Side note, but these are so delicious. If you guys have never tried these, you can get them off Amazon. I'll link them below for you guys and they'll also be on my Amazon shop page, but they are so good. So I got a bunch of these and then I got a bunch of vitamin waters, the zero sugar ones, power C. Okay guys, update. I am now in bed. I was over here taking a little nap too. I don't know why, but I'm like just so freaking tired today. I feel like I have no energy. And it's probably because it's like a super like rainy, cloudy day. It's just been like this for like several days in a row. So I don't know if that's it. Um, but anywho, I don't know why I feel like I just like can't function. I need to like take a nap. Maybe it has something to do with me staying up until like 2.33, like the last like three or four nights watching Netflix. Um, so I don't know, but like I don't really have like a lot to get done today. So I'm honestly just gonna like chill in bed for a little bit. I'm gonna put on some Hulu. I'll show you guys what I'm watching. Okay guys, so this is actually the show that I've been watching. It's called For Life. And what it's about is basically this guy who owns a nightclub and he was wrongly convicted of being basically like this huge drug dealer and like organizing it all. And he ended up getting sentenced to life in prison. So he spends his time in prison, he became a lawyer. And so now he's trying to like take on cases of like other inmates as a prison rep. And he's basically trying to like expose the DA's office for like wrongly putting people away. Um, so it's super, super interesting. I think I love anything that's like law, criminal, like prison, stuff like that. Like I find it so interesting. So anyways, but that's what I've been into. So if you guys have Hulu and you like stuff like that, definitely go watch this because it's like so entertaining. My gosh, you guys, look how hard this rain is coming down. I know you can't really tell on here, but it is like absolutely pouring. Like look at that on the side of the building. Oh my gosh. Okay guys, so it's like 5.30 right now. Um, so I'm gonna start making some dinner. I honestly just like pretty much relaxed the whole day. It felt like just so good, just kind of like lay in bed for a little bit and relax and not really do anything. I feel like a lot of times I work on the weekend, so like filming, editing, I'm just filming this weekend, but I feel like I still do a lot on the weekends and don't really necessarily take like off days like most jobs do. Um, so it's kind of nice just to kind of like chill out today and not really do anything. and. Like you guys saw, it's like a super just like rainy day today. So I don't really have a lot of motivation to do anything to be completely honest, but I'm super excited for what I'm making for dinner. I can't remember if I told you guys about it or not earlier, but I'm making like a chipotle, like cilantro lime rice with like the corn salsa and then some guac and all about like a little like chipotle bowl basically. Okay guys, so I actually recently tried out this rice mainly cause it was like the only one left in the stores. But oh my gosh, you guys, sushi rice is the move like it's so soft and squishy and sticky. It's so much better than any other type of rice. Um, so I'm actually making my bowl tonight with this rice and you guys, so much better than any other. Hi. You're such a good boy. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay guys, so this is the Chipotle bowl. I swear this is so freaking good. Um, so all I do is I just take some like fire roasted corn that's like in the can at the store and then I mix it in with a bunch of lime juice. I add in red onions and then a bunch of cilantro. Then I just have my guacamole, my pico, and then my cilantro lime rice. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is like the best dinner ever and it's so, so filling. Anyways, we're just gonna eat this while I watch some Hulu and I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, so it is now actually quite a bit later. It is 10.20. I basically did nothing today except for watch Hulu and Honestly, I'm not really mad about it. I was like just so weirdly tired today that I just had like no energy to do absolutely anything. And I just kind of felt like I needed a rest day. So I was like, you know what, whatever, it's the weekend. Got all my work done, all my stuff is together. So I definitely feel nice and like caught up and like just rested. Like I just need like a relaxing day, I guess. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and do kind of like a little spa night. Um, I need to like exfoliate and wash my hair. I'm gonna do a hair mask, face mask. 
um, get everything ready, like shave and stuff like that to tan tomorrow night. But really quickly, I actually wanted to show you these. Um, first, recently sent these to me and they are a bunch of like reusable cotton pads. And I, to be completely honest, didn't know that these existed like at all. Um, but these are so cool. Like they're little cloth, like reusable cotton pads. And then they come in a pack of six, I think it's, is it 16? Yeah, they come in 16 and then you can actually just throw this little bag in the wash, which is really cool. Um, so I love these. I've been using these instead of buying more like cotton pads and stuff. So um, to take off my makeup, I'm just using this Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. This is what this looks like. One thing that I've totally noticed, oh, that spilled. One thing I've totally noticed over quarantine because to be completely honest, I've been so lazy about my skincare routine, not purposefully. Um, my skin has been doing so good. Like I feel like the whole less is more thing has honestly kind of rung true um, because my skin has been like glowing super smooth. It doesn't have all those little weird bumps that it usually does. Um, and right now, like I really only have like a little pimple here and then here and that's just because I'm like a few days away from starting my period and normally my face would be like breaking out like crazy. So I am so happy with my current like skincare routine and literally all it's been is that I just take my makeup off using this, wash my face with my First Aid Beauty um, face cleanser and then I typically just moisturize it with this at night. And honestly, like that's all I've been doing and my skin has been thriving. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Like have you experienced the same thing? It's kind of crazy, but like I'm not mad about it because if I don't have to go buy serums and all this like fancy stuff, I'm totally fine with that. So, okay, makeup is off. Get my shower started. Okay, and then to exfoliate, I'm just gonna use this little um, exfoliating mitt that came in the tanning mitt kit that I talked about on my most recent Amazon video. I also showed these plastic baggies, which are so great to like put all like your tanning stuff in or like whatever. Anywho, I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the shower, shave everything, do all that good stuff, and then I will see you guys in like two seconds. Okay, you guys, I am now out of the shower. My hair is so tangly for some reason, probably because I haven't like washed and conditioned my hair in a hot minute. I've been trying to be good about like only doing it like once or twice a week during quarantine. Um, just cause like I'm trying to keep my hair healthy. Okay, so the one that I'm gonna be using is this Olaplex number three. Um, this is just what the treatment looks like, if it focuses. <laughs> okay, anyways, I'll have it linked down below if you guys wanna check it out. Um, but this one is so, so good. I actually like to leave this on overnight. So this one, you can use it up to three times a week on damp towel dried hair. So I'm, what I'm gonna do, and I actually show this again on my Amazon video. So if you guys haven't watched my most recent Amazon haul video, go watch it. I literally have so many goodies in that haul. Um, but what I like to do is just put my towel turban on so that I can do all of, like my skincare, stuff like that, while my hair is kind of drying a little bit. So this is a new one that Mario Badescu sent me. It's the Brightening Mask with Vitamin C. I haven't tried this one. I know lately vitamin C has kind of been breaking me out, so I don't know. Okay, I think I'm gonna use this one and we'll just see how it goes. Okay, so this one you're supposed to do, apply a thin layer of mask on clean skin, five to 10 minutes. Okay, I don't know what it smells like. It smells so good though. It's like, almost like a little bit floral, citrusy maybe. One thing I love about these applicators is that they make everything go on so smoothly. And like, I feel like when you put stuff on with your hands, you just kind of like rub product around and it might be like, you know, like splotchy patches, stuff like that. But like, I feel like with these, it just like does such a nice, like even layer all across your skin. And I really love that. Okay, face mask is on. I officially look like a crazy person. Okay, you guys, I just got done whitening my teeth and I took my face mask off. I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair treatment in. Okay, so for this one, you just apply it to your scalp and then work it down to your ends. You're supposed to apply it as a generous amount, so. Okay, and then once my hair is completely saturated in it, I'll actually just go ahead and put it up in a top knot, um, just so that way I can like sleep on it. It's like not gonna get my face or anything. Oh my gosh, I have so much hair falling out. This bun reminds me of doing this for my gymnastics days all the time. Okay, so now my hair is up. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my skincare. So for my skincare tonight, I'm actually gonna use some of this um, Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, lavender, and chamomile. It's just what it looks like. I love their rose water one, but I'm kind of in the mood to have like more of like a nice relaxing one, so. Oh. There we go. <sighs> so refreshing. 
Okay, and then my last step is I'm just gonna go in with the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration. This is a go-to, I've been using it absolutely forever and it comes in such a huge tube and i think it's like 34 dollars. but this thing lasts you like i mean i'm sure this lasts you past this shelf life okay well i don't know how long this lasts on the shelf but i know that i've had it for like over six months so it lasts you literally forever and it's but seriously just like the most hydrating non-comedogenic facial moisturizer it doesn't break me out and like everything breaks me out because i have such sensitive skin um but i love this product so much Okay, and the very last step that I'm going to be doing is putting on my lip balm. This is the Mari Badescu again. I love their products. Um, dog hair on my face. Um, <laughs> Mario Badescu lip balm. This is just the plain one. I think they have like a peppermint and like different scents and stuff, but I just got the plain. And voila! I am all nice and ready to go to bed. Okay, and then for my pillow spray, because I am out of my lavender pillow spray, I'm actually just going to go right back in with the same Mario Badescu one it all a nice little calming spritz perfect well i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog if you guys stay until the very end comment down below a white heart so i know who watched until the end so i can give you guys some love back thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video say bye to the vlog kai bye <laughs>